Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to Create 8. Today I'm going to create 8 cards using products from the April release by my favorite things. So let's start with card number 1. The stamp set I'm using is the Up in the Air stamp set and um, I am choosing some of those images. I am planning to create a little scene on top of my card, so I'm going to stamp with this uh, white cardstock some of the images. I'm using my Misty to stamp everything and I make sure that I use a black ink that is uh, alcohol friendly because I will be using my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers later on to color all the images. And just because in these types of videos I am trying to uh, add 8 different cards in one video, I am usually uh, going uh, through this uh, coloring phase super quickly. So now I am making sure that I cut out all the matching uh, dies and then I am going to run them through my Sizzix uh, machine so I will have all my cutouts ready to go. So as you can see I have little houses, little trees, my clouds, a hot air balloon, a little bird as well as um, a banner. Now I have created this uh, frame which comes from the blue prints 32 and I have also cut out a small heel for the bottom of uh, my card and for that I used this die from the Spring uh, Scene Builder which comes from uh, the latest release as well. So now I'm going to stick uh, my grass at the very bottom of my card and then I will go ahead and start sticking everything down to create my little scene. For some of the cutouts I will be using some foam tip at the back to add some dimension while for others I'm going to stick them directly with some uh, tape adhesive at the back. Now that I'm happy with how my scene is looking, I'm adding some uh, black glitter at the eyes of my bear and my birdie and I'm going to add some polka dots at each and every banner which embellishes my hot air balloon. I am switching colors so I make sure that every banner matches perfectly the rainbow order. Now if you see there is a smudge there, I managed to make a smudge, but you will see later on that I am going to cover it up. I'll just uh, make sure that I move um, the cloud on another spot to cover it up. And actually this is uh, the beauty of using a tape adhesive that is uh, quite forgiving. So you can see that I can easily peel it off and place it on another place without ruining my background. If I did um, made a mess there, I could uh, easily stamp a third cloud and just stick it there on top to cover up uh, the mess. So there's always a way to save um, little booboos like this one. So at the back of my frame I'm going to add thin strips of uh, foam tape and I'm not going for a shaker cut uh, this time, I just want to have a little bit of dimension on my frame. And I always believe that having a frame all around your uh, little scene is uh, always giving that uh, nice finished look. 
And now my card is finished. All that's left to do is to add the sentiment and for that I'm going with Miss You. I'm going to stamp that with a Versa marking on top of black cardstock and I'm going to white emboss it. And in the Blueprint 32 there is a tiny little banner that fits perfectly my sentiment which I have used to cut it out. And now I'm going to stick that just next to my hot air balloon and my card is finished. And now let's move on to the second card. For that I'm using these beautiful butterflies. I am first going to stamp the sentiment and I'm working on a white piece of uh, cardstock which is going to be later on my panel for the card. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment at the very bottom of my card and I am stamping at this at the beginning so I know exactly where I want my butterfly to be. This is quite of a big sentiment and I really love the fonts from this stamp set. So now it's time to stamp the butterfly. I am going with uh, pink shades and this is a layering stamp which means that there are actually three different layers that you stamp one on top of the other to create beautiful shadows on your butterfly. I have picked up three different uh, ink pads from my favorite things and I am going to start with a lighter one which I am going to stamp actually twice just to get a better impression. Then I am going to use the middle color for the second layer and the darker shade of pink for my third layer. Now I am going to make sure that I will link everything, uh, all the ink colors that I used as well as everything else that I used uh, throughout all those eight cards down below in the description area as well as on my blog. And just by using three different shades of the same color, from lighter to darker, you can go ahead and create your own butterflies in any color that you wish. Now I am going to use the matching dye, I am going to run it through my C6 machine. And you can see that I already have my butterfly cut out, but I want to have a negative space on top of my panel. So I'm going to place the die exactly where I want it to be. I'm going to cut it out and I can use the positive one for another butterfly later on. Now I want to cover up that uh, empty space with uh, some glitter. So I am using just some uh, scrap piece of paper there. I'm going to cover it up with double sided tape and then I am going to apply some Nouveau glitter. The glitter that I'm using is fine glitter. It's uh, in uh, pink color. So it matches perfectly the color scheme that I am going for. Now this card that I am creating is really clean and simple, but at the same time it's really striking. So I am using this fine glitter which is so fine that sticks nicely on top of uh, the adhesive and it's not going to move or uh, come into your hands just because it's super thin. And especially if you run this piece of paper through your uh, Sizzix machine, your die cutting machine, then it makes sure that this glitter is nicely stuck on top. At the back of my panel I'm going to add some uh, foam tape which is uh, going to give some dimension on my panel and then I'm going to stick that panel on top of my card base making sure that that butterfly is, has only glitter at the background which uh, this design looks uh, pretty as it is but I'm going to stick now the butterfly that I have already cut out making sure that I add some um, a curve at the butterfly wings and I'm going to add a foam tape only at the center of my butterfly at the back of uh, her body so it has a beautiful dimension a very simple card but really beautiful And now let's move on to the third card. For that I'm going with those beautiful doodle designed flowers and I'm going to create a card with a flower arrangement. So first I'm going to stamp everything. I'm using my misses so that I can stamp many images at once. I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color all the flowers. And then I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out all the images. So now I have all my cutouts ready to go. You can see my flowers up there on my screen. And I'm going to use these uh, dome uh, uh, ties which give a beautiful stitching all around. So I'm going to cut out a window in this uh, panel. This is just a uh, white cardstock. And this is going to be the main panel for my card. So at the back I'm going to make sure that I add some uh, tape adhesive to add the dimension that I always love to have on my cards. 
and I am going to cover up the back with this uh, blue cardstock. And uh, although I'm not going for a shaker card, I pretty much follow the same rules here. So now I have a nice place where I can nest all those flowers with that beautiful domed background. I am going to decide where everything is going to go and then I'm going to use some foam squares at the back and stick them down. And here is how my flower arrangement is looking at the moment and to continue that doodle design of the flowers I decided to add uh, little dots all over the place and uh, I think that uh, I am taking that doodle design a step further and I really love the effect of all those dots there. It really complements the design of those flowers. And now that my panel is ready I'm going to stick it on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. To finish off my card I need to stamp the sentiment and I decided to go with the one that says make today beautiful. I have uh, stamped it on black cardstock and a uh, white emboss it and uh, now I'm going to create a um, tail on one side and then stick it directly on top of my card base with some tape adhesive at the back. And I always love how striking those sentiments are when you uh, make them on white on black. As a final touch, I'm going to add some white Nouveau drops at the center of that big flower. And my card is ready. And now let's move on to the next card. I am using uh, the adorable koala set and I'm going to stamp the tree as well as one of the koalas that is holding a little one. Now uh, this is a really adorable card and it's uh, certainly one of my favorites that I am sharing today. I'm going to stamp with uh, black ink and then uh, color with my uh, alcohol markers and then cut out everything just like I did for all the previous cards. And now I'm going to work on my panel, so I have a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to use one of those uh, dome dies that give you that beautiful stitching. And um, I'm going to use my T-ruler there just to make sure that I place that uh, straight and then I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. So now I have that uh, beautiful window and I am going to create a little scene at the back of it. You can of course go ahead and create a shaker card out of it but I am just going to leave it as is and uh, I'll just uh, try to add a, a little bit of dimension with that. So just to create my scene and because I want to match everything with the sentiment that I am planning to use I did stamp some of those clouds that come from uh, the set that I used in the beginning the one that is called uh, In the Air. So now I have a black panel which I am going to stick directly on top of my card base and by the way this is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I am sticking that uh, blue panel at the back which is going to serve as my sky and now on the window I am going to add some uh, foam tape to add a little bit of dimension. And I am going to stick that on top of my base. Before I go ahead and assemble my card, I am going to stamp the sentiment. I am going for the white embossing powder on top of black cardstock again. I really like that look. And the sentiment that I have chosen says I'd clamp the highest branch for you. Now I am uh, going to cut that out by using uh, one of the uh, stitched window dies that match perfectly the sentiment. And now I am going to stick that by using some foam tape at the back. Now I have all the parts ready to go and I am ready to assemble my card. So first I'm going to place that there so that I know how far the sentiment will go. And now I can stick down my tree. I am trying to decide the placement there and then I am going to use some foam tape and some tape glue at the back of all those little elements to create my scene.
And by sticking all those clouds there, it really gives the illusion that this uh, branch is really going very high, just like my sentiment says. Now I'm going to add some shine at the eyes of my koalas. And I am also going to add some uh, shine with my clear uh, aqua flow pen. And I did add shine at uh, their noses, the clouds, the leaves, pretty much everywhere. And this pen really adds a lot of shimmer. I hope you can see how shiny it looks. A really adorable card and it would uh, be a great design to welcome a new baby as well if you change the sentiment. Now I'm going for a very clean and simple looking card now, but at the same time it's going to be very bright and very fresh looking. So I'm going to cover up this uh, piece of white cardstock and uh, I'm using the rubber stamp, the new background stamp by my favorite things, and I'm covering it up with Versamark ink. And I went through my stash to find uh, some uh, yellow embossing powder that was quite bright and I found this one by Ranger. So I'm going to cover up the whole background with yellow and then I'm going to heat set it. And now that I have my background ready to go, I am going to create my focal point and uh, I'm going to stamp uh, the cute little girl from the fresh squeezed stamp set and I'm just stamping it on this dome uh, but I will uh, end up cutting everything out with the die. I just used that since it was a scrap from a previous card. I'm going to use my Spectrum Noir markers, these are alcohol markers to color everything and I'm going with uh, mainly yellow shades just because she is holding a lemonade. So my little girl is ready and I have also used the die. This is a die from the latest release which is called Sentiment Label Strip and I have cut it out from white cardstock. I'm going to stamp the sentiment on one side of the label strip and I'm going with the sentiment that says you are the sugar in my lemonade. I think this is an adorable uh, sentiment and um, I can stick the girl just next to it. So for my card base I'm using a bright yellow cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I used my tape runner at the back of my panel and stuck that at the center of my card base and now I am using some foam tape at the back of the label strip and uh, center it on top of my card. And finally I'm going to stick the little girl on top of that label strip. Again I'm using some uh, foam squares to add the dimension that I want. And the card is ready. Now I am going to create an interactive card and uh, first I am going to stamp some of those birdies from the stamp set which is called Tweet Wishes. It comes with adorable owls and birds but uh, I am going for the birds only today. I am actually going to stamp four of them but I ended up using only three. And just for the fun of it I decided to use my Prismacolor pencils to color all the birdies instead of my alcohol markers that I would normally use. And although I usually forget to use them, they are really easy to blend and they give beautiful results. So after coloring all the three birds that I am going to end up using, I am going to use the matching dies and run them through my big shot. And as you can see the little birdies are ready to go. Now I am going to work a little bit on my background and I have this white panel where I am going to stamp repeatedly this uh, leaf. And uh, by the way the leaf is from the same uh, stamp set as the birds. I am stamping uh, the leaf in a row to create a little pattern at the background. And if you notice I am not measuring and I haven't drawn any lines or anything, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's quite simple to line them up. I have created two rows of uh, these leaves and I'm going to use my Prismacolor pencils again to color them in. I am using three different shades of green, a lighter, a middle color and a darker one. I'm going to show you how I did one leaf and then I will move forward to when I have colored everything. 
Now I'm going to line up this die and uh, this comes from a previous release by My Favorite Things and it actually cuts out three little uh, windows with a flap. I think this is an adorable die and uh, it really gives a beautiful uh, and interactive um, design. So I am going to place this uh, yellow cardstock at uh, the back of those windows and I chose to have a green uh, cardstock as my card base. So this is again a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I made sure that the yellow panel is exactly stuck at uh, the back of those windows. So now I'm going to place some uh, tape adhesive at the back of the birds and decide where everything is going to go. And now that I'm happy with the placement of all those birds, I'm going to add some foam tape at the back of the white panel and then stick it down, making sure that I align it perfectly so that uh, you can see the little birdies through those windows. And for the sentiment, I chose to go with Tweet Wishes, which I think is um, really adorable with all, the, all those uh, birdies in the card. But uh, I... Uh, really I advise you to stamp the sentiment before you stick the panel on top of um, the card. But I was quite lucky and got a good impression. So my card is ready. For the next card I'm going to use this adorable frog from the Springtime Critters a stamp set. I'm going to stamp the frog and then color him with my Spectrum Noir markers. I'm going to use three different shades and once my frog is ready I'm going to use the matching die to cut him out. And uh, although the frog looks adorable just like that, when I placed on top those um, googly eyes, I thought that uh, it became super cute and adorable. So I decided to stick them down and as you can see one is uh, smaller than the other, which makes a really hilarious uh, image. And now I am preparing my panel there. I am using uh, spiced marmalade and with my blending tool I am just going all over the stencil and this is a stencil from a previous release by my favorite things. For my sentiment I am using the one that says you always bring a smile to my face with that big smile of my little froggy and I am going to stamp that with black ink at the very bottom of my panel. Now I can add some foam tape at the back of my frog and stick it at the center of uh, that uh, stenciled area. And for such a happy and bright card I am going with uh, yellow cardstock for the background. I'm going to stick the panel on top of my card base and that's a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And my card is pretty much finished. I am going to finish it off by adding some um, uh, dots. These are uh, crystal drops. And I am going to add a little bit of pale green at uh, his uh, cheeks. And then I am going to use some uh, jewel drops which are uh, tinted yellow but uh, transparent, translucent. And I am going to add little drops all over all those rays. And these dots give a dimension and a fun extra element on my card. And now let's move on to the last card for today. I am going to use this adorable stamp set with uh, all those cute uh, dogs and I'm working on a craft cardstock. I'm going to stamp some of those dogs. I am using a brown ink and that's by my favorite things and it's the color of milk chocolate. Usually my cards are very feminine or they have lots of color which is perfect for uh, little kids but uh, today I thought uh, I should make at least one for uh, ma a masculine one and uh, I'm going to keep uh, this a monochromatic card so I'm playing with shades of brown. I have already cut out a panel and I'm going uh, to stamp that uh, background on top and again I'm using the same ink that I used to stamp the little dogs. And now my background panel is ready. I'm going to create a window to stamp the sentiment inside. And for that I'm using the rectangle word windows from the latest release. I'm going to cut out a window which is going to leave a nice stitching all around that window. And now I am temporarily securing that panel on top of my card base so that I can stamp the sentiment. 
I used the sentiment that says, you are one of my favorite humans. Again, I'm using the same uh, brown ink that I used throughout the card. And now it's time for my go-to technique. I am adding some foam tape at the back to add my dimension. And then I'm going to stick that panel on top of my card base. So the card base is uh, the same uh, cardstock as the little dogs, so that makes it a perfect match. You can stick the dogs directly on top of your card base without doing any coloring. I decided to do just a little bit of coloring to add a little bit of shading. So I'm uh, coloring uh, the noses in uh, dark brown and now uh, with my Prismacolor pencil I'm adding a little bit of shadow only at the edges of each of uh, the dogs. Then I am going to blend that out by using my gamsol. The gamsol is going to soften those shadows and uh, once the gamsol dries it's going to look even softer than it looks at the moment. For the look I am going for I didn't want to add too much uh, coloring, I just wanted to keep everything nice and simple. I am going to repeat the same process to the other two dogs. And then by using some foam squares at the back of the dogs, I'm going to stick them on top of my card. And I think this is a, an adorable card, although it is masculine looking. Now I'm going to add some uh, shine at their noses, and that's uh, Nouveau Drops, but it uh, dries clear, so it's pretty much uh, like glossy accents. And finally I have punched out a red heart which I am going to stick on one of the dogs just for a touch of color. And these were the cards that I have created for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are the photos of all the cards that I have created for today. And if you need more inspiration, you can click on any of those two videos that I have created a while back. Thank you all for watching!